Ali and his shims. So we're putting in the final touches. Now we're taking the mauve down a notch with a more neutral taupe that'll lighten up the color scheme and make the room seem larger. On the back wall? Yeah. The living sofa is very deep. You just have to play around with things to see what flows best. <laughs> then I could put... Okay. These $80 window panels add a punch of color where we need it most. Perfect. Getting this table out of the way is a quick fix, and we'll use the space to add everything else. This is the furniture. Makes sense. The great thing about this house is it has a formal dining room, but right now it's just themed and a little outdated. There's two problems with the area rug they have in the living room. It's way too big, so it interrupts the walk space for the buyers, and it's covering up all the hardwood floors. Save us money. That's real estate. Jex, I want to clear most of the stuff out of here, okay? Okay. okay. Let's get to work. We're ready. Okay, extra padding for color scheme. And since most of these pieces came from the old living room, all we had to buy was an $80 rug. The company. It's open house day for Jeff and Michelle Kuhn. And a few light touches. Put them in the bins. When you have children, especially babies, it gets a little inconvenient to have your house on the market. But if you want to sell quickly, for the most using different length screws so that you can layer the pictures. Stage the kitchen. All we have to do is declutter it. A storage, and I think that's a big mistake. I want buyers to see that room as a relaxing retreat. Of warm water. And for added privacy without blocking the light, these shears cost less than $5 a piece. This was the old, Ooh, yeah. yeah. The old heavy pieces into storage to make way for a new look. buttermilk tone. Entertaining space, so let's move the furniture back in here. To unify the space, we are painting the green wall the same color as the rest of the room. So we can just float some staging Erica's townhouse for a quick sale. And before we paint, we have to clear. I know that. So with that said, let's play around. Okay. Okay. This over here. This over here. This over here. Then it's out to the back deck, where new chairs plus a table setting gives this outdoor space the selling edge. See it before because there were so many things lying around. Keep it simple, clear it out. And while jeweled light fixtures should tone it down a neutral color. Clear this place out. Let's get this stuff cleared out. It's a great way to add a little sophistication to a room, but don't overdo it. That's okay? Good. All right, let's see if this works. It's open house day for the Lee family. Get your paint on. This creamy beige gives the Stark wall some personality, and it'll be easy to color coordinate with accessories. Better to clean than a flat. It's open house day for Ann and James, and I'm putting in some... Okay. And then I bought these wicker baskets that will put the toys she does need to play with and we'll put them on the bookcase. Let's move it over a little bit. Doesn't the... Pieces, oh. and then we'll figure out how to make the flow better. Since I'm... So I think we should probably clear everything out and stage it accordingly. 
All right, Sid, so I want you to help shape it in. We might have to paint it. The concrete floor is in pretty bad. It's open house day, and I'm topping off our staging offer, so we have to change that. All right, finish up this room. Okay. The table right now is a little country, and that's a little too taste specific, so I'm painting in a nice dark brown to add some sophistication. And in place of the brass plated chandelier, a brushed nickel fixture for just $78 is an easy update that buyers are sure to notice. Pack up the crab, okay. the sand crab, and uh, just make this place a little bit more inviting. I love it. A power, the swing kind of hidden over there, so I want to take it out since it conveys. Okay. And then probably play around with the umbrella. The key to staging any space is to strike the perfect balance between focal points. In this case, the swing, the umbrella, and the grill. A key. It's open. I like turn the process. Let's do it. Right. Give it a nice accent. Great idea. It's a lot of knobs to replace, but these come cheap. So the total job is only costing us $40. Now I want- Oh my God. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> With this $60 desk that's a snap to put together, this room's an instant home office. If you're wondering what kind of artwork to put in a dining room, think food motifs, landscaping, flowers. Pulling the staging together with these final details. Okay, you guys ready to paint? Yes. Ready, let's go. Okay. 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 Let's box, box up the little things and then we'll get to the big pieces. Okay. Okay. It looks so art. They are going to be the art themselves. Clear all of this out. Okay. Woo. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Let's go. Step, and the most important step is accessorizing. That's what finishes a It's open house day for Steve and Margot. Bringing in the buyers. If you have an old dinette set, you don't have to buy a new one, just put it in the closet. Okay. Cleaning up and repositioning the table will make it easy for buyers to imagine using the space. In there. Declutter, declutter, declutter. Left over? Yep. Yes. Awesome. If your light fixtures look outdated, it's always safe to change them. It's an easy project. So let's get this out of here. Clear it up. Buyers are gonna be impressed that Lily and Jermaine have a finished basement that can be used as a great family lounge. It's just not showing like that right now. So we're changing it. While I remove the vertical. Okay. okay. Buttery beige is one of my favorites for warming up a space. It's light, neutral, and goes with almost any decor. Okay. It's oh, the swing kind of hidden over there, so I want to take it out since it conveys. Okay. And then probably play around with the umbrella. The key to staging any space is to strike the perfect balance between focal points. In this case, the swing, the umbrella, and the grill. Pack up the crab. Okay. The sand crab. And uh, just make this place a little bit more inviting. I love it. A power to finish up this room. Okay. The table right now is a little country. And that's a little too taste specific, so I'm painting in a nice dark brown to add some sophistication. And in place of the brass plated chandelier, a brushed nickel fixture for just $78 is an easy update that buyers are sure to notice. Different spaces. When you have rooms that spill into each other, you want to keep the colors in the same family, just different tones. <laughs> My next task, arranging what's left of Sue's old living room set with the new sofa, chair, and accent tables for better flow. That is the only logical place for the armoire. So I put that piece in first and then build the rest of the room around it. Before, the sofa was blocking this walkway, so it really closed up the space. I'm going to open up the space so the only logical place to put the sofa 
is where it is. Now the living room feels open and airy, exactly what you want when you're trying to sell your house. Good job, Sue. Good Come job, on. Sabrina. Thanks. Pets might be dirty. When you're selling your car, you get it detailed. You need to do the same thing for your home, and especially the kitchen. Make sure it sparkles. For less than 40... Put this space together, it's time to play around the furniture agent. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Okay. The oversized sectional from upstairs is a much better fit in the more casual basement. A splurge at... Got you some chairs and umbrellas. All it's going to take to turn this whole space around. $50 for an umbrella, plus chairs for $40 a piece, and we have the perfect outdoor entertaining space for less than $150. Bucks.